The directives signed today by President Trump include revoking federal funds from so-called sanctuary cities, which are said to protect undocumented immigrants. Bigger cities like Boston, Chicago, and New York are all at risk of losing billions of dollars in aid. Another city that could be affected is Los Angeles, and that's where we find our Carter Evans. When it comes to taking on President Trump's immigration policy, California has drawn a line in the sand. In California, immigrants are an integral part of who we are and what we become. Governor Jerry Brown's message this week was blunt. Let me be clear. We will defend everybody, every man, woman, and child who's come here for a better life and has contributed to the well-being of our state. California has 18 sanctuary cities. Brian Abarca was born in Mexico and brought to the U.S. at age three. Are you worried that you might get pulled over for speeding one day, though, and end up getting detained? Yes, that's uh, everyday life. He lives in Los Angeles, where Mayor Eric Garcetti has instructed police not to enforce immigration laws. Even if it threatens federal funding in Los Angeles, you stand to get up to $500 million this year. These are dollars that protect our port, our airport, keep homeless veterans off the streets. You're saying pulling funding from L.A. could actually hurt the rest of the country. No question. There's anxiety right, going around. There's a lot of worry. Pedro Trujillo's parents, both undocumented immigrants, brought him to the U.S. when he was seven. Are there going to be raids coming our way uh, in the coming months? We don't know that yet. But you're prepared to stand up and fight back? Well, we have to be prepared uh, because this is our only country, this is our only home. Joining me now from Denver, Colorado, is Mayor Michael Hancock. Mr. Mayor, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, what is your take on the directive signed by President Trump? Very disappointing. Uh, cities all over this country have been waiting for the federal government to pass or to come up with an immigration policy, a comprehensive immigration policy. But that's not what we got today. We got an executive order that was somewhat vague, um, commits this nation to building a, a wall along its southern border that commits billions of dollars. Instead of investing in helping to strengthen um, our nation and investing in the economic framework of our, our, our nation in many of our cities, quite frankly. Um, and, you know, it lacks vision. It lacks uh, leadership. And I think it's a missed opportunity. Well, in a statement, you said the executive orders signed today put our economic security as a nation at risk, and I am deeply disappointed. What kind of consequences do you think could come from this policy? Well, one is it puts a lot of people in our cities in fear. And as mayors across this nation, we have been discussing this. Uh, many of our residents recognize, and we certainly recognize, that our, one of our chief responsibilities is to protect our residents. And we've been spending the last few months really trying to encourage folks and reassure them that we're going to be okay and they're going to be okay. Tonight, the executive order really puts a lot of that in question, and a lot of the folks who we are working to protect every day are now uh, in a great deal of fear and concern for their families, uh, that they're going to be needlessly torn apart from their families. Um, so we're going to have to work to reassure people that we'll make sure that we, while complying with federal immigration laws, will do everything necessary to protect the residents of our city, immigrant or not. So, Mr. Mayor, is your city a sanctuary city? The city of Denver uh, is a city that is inclusive, open, and has always welcomed people to our city. Um, we, again, have been hoping for an immigration policy, a comprehensive one, uh, so that we can move forward with a path of engaging folks lawfully in our city uh, so they can, be, uh, can, can reap the opportunities of this great nation as well. We've never passed a policy to be a sanctuary city, but we're an open and inclusive city, um, one in which we value greatly uh, in, our, in, our, in our state of Colorado. Uh, the executive order, as I understand it, allows the Department of Homeland Security to declare cities uh, to be sanctuary cities, and it describes a sanctuary city as one that, by, quote, statute, policy, or practice, prevents or hinders the enforcement of federal law. Um, are you concerned that you could lose federal funding as a result of your city's policy? Nothing in the executive order today, Elaine. Um, in consultation with our city attorneys. We are not in violation of anything that was mentioned in the executive order today. We have always uh, been cooperative with the federal government and the federal immigration statutes. We've complied with those laws. 
But we also have values in this city, and values of open inclusiveness, and, and quite frankly, uh, values that say that we don't needlessly tear families apart. Um, we would rather have a plan going forward that all of us in this nation are following. Mayors all this country have been asking for a plan. And we've asked uh, uh, the, the, the federal government to give us a comprehensive immigration strategy so that we can incorporate the hopes and dreams of the immigrants who are in our city. Uh, and that's what's important to us. And those are the values that we believe are not only here in Denver, but our American values. But uh, you're not concerned, though, that you might be uh, found to be in violation and therefore subject to losing federal funds. We don't believe we're in violation of any of the federal laws and, and, and not of this executive order uh, as it is written today. So what is the plan in the meantime right now for you and your city? Right, right now it's very important for us to reassure all of our residents that uh, we'll do everything we can uh, to keep them safe. We will continue to, to comply with the federal laws, uh, but more importantly continue to push the president his administration and Congress to come up with a comprehensive immigration strategy. Quite frankly, that's leadership. And that's what the American people should hope and expect for. And that's what keeps our economic opportunities of this nation intact. And quite frankly, is more practical than trying to uh, uh, place fear and, and, and hopelessness in 11 million people who happen to be in our nation. All right, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock. Mr. Mayor, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.